What is going on guys? It's your boy Slick and today we're doing a little bit different of a video. I'm just doing a post commentary and talking about an issue that I've seen in War Thunder for years and I think that, you know, I don't want to bring issues to light a ton anymore. You know, like I ha I've kind of grown out of that stage where I just kind of complain and stuff. I used to rant a lot about War Thunder and, you know, bitch and moan and things never got fixed that way you know it's always better when you go about things in a calm collected manner so instead of making a video when i was in the heat of the moment this morning when i recorded this i decided to wait until after you know a day went by and uh, i'm going to talk about it now so air rb it's a dying game mode Let, let's be honest not many people find air rb super appealing anymore considering that you can take planes into a ground force battle and do just as much faster and more fun it more action quicker it's more fun come on i mean seriously air rb is way less fun in my opinion than ground rb with planes in it right if you fly a plane into ground rb of course you have to spawn a tank first but once you fly that plane you know you're going to get some sort of action you're going to have somebody shooting at you from the ground or from the sky and you can pick planes off and stuff in air rb we have this thing where we climb you find enemy targets you identify them and you go kill them now, the thing that I've had an issue with in War Thunder forever, and I mean this has been forever, is people running. You know, the people who have their mommies still cut the crust off their sandwiches, so they don't want to fight in War Thunder. They'd rather just get the easiest win possible. And that's the footage you're watching right now behind you. Or not behind me, I guess, in the background. Now, I'm playing the Spitfire FR, or the Seafire, excuse me, FR-47. This is a contraprop. It's actually a pretty interesting aircraft. Expect the video soon. But <laughs> there's a huge issue, and it's not the plane, and it has nothing to do with the map or anything like that. There's a guy on the other team who decides to run. He has 13 score at the end of the match. We lose, and we couldn't catch him. It is a, he's in a course hair. Now, of course, his name's there. This isn't meant for public shaming. There's a ton of people who do this. There's a ton of people who will never be called out by me because I will never find them in a game. And this guy was unfortunate enough to get into my game, and I guess he thought it was funny. I don't know. I did type some things in chat to him. Maybe it wasn't the most mature way of going about things, but when you're in the heat of the moment, shit happens. So I'm sorry if I said anything that offends anybody. But this is a major problem, and it's not necessarily a problem I know how to fix, and it's not necessarily a problem Gaijin intended, right? This is a community problem. This is a problem with people's gameplay, right? And to them, they see that this is nothing wrong, but clearly there is something wrong with the fact that you're taking a fighter into a battle, getting zero kills, zero assists, zero, pretty much zero score, 13 score in, a, in an airplane game. You just have to fly near an enemy plane to get score. So this dude wasn't even in the vicinity of action the entire game. I think he got his 13 score when I turned on him, and I almost got some shots off. I think I shot at him or something like that. Or I was within, like, two kilometers at, at the very least. And I think that's where he got those 13 score. So this, this isn't how do we fix this. I have no idea. We're going to talk about that later on in the video. But it's a problem. People running in... Air RB. Running, bombers running, people hiding at the edge of the map, climbing, not getting involved. And there needs to be a penalty for that. I think Gaijin needs to implement a system where we penalize people who don't get stuck into the action. I said it. There we go. That's it. Now, if it was as simple as that, I'm sure it would have been done already. So there's some things, and I want you guys to comment down below and let me know what you think about a new system. What would you do? How would you fix this problem? And we can all, as a community, kind of talk about it and bounce, off, bounce ideas off each other and stuff and figure out mm, what might be the best course of action. Because I do plan on talking to some people in Gaijin. Uh, about this. This is a serious issue. This actually got under my skin so bad because why Why are people like this rewarded? You know, this isn't fun. This isn't enga fun and engaging gameplay. This is a guy running from us for 23 minutes. It was an entire 23 minute battle. I sped it up and stuff, but 23 minutes and we didn't get the win. I stayed in this match for that long and I got nothing out of it because he was the guy I decided I was going to go chase down. I ran out of fuel following him. The rest is history. I had time to go land and then fly back up, and he still ran. Now, if you're in a bomber and you do this, I don't like you. I want you to know that. If you're watching this video and you fly your bombers and you run away, we're not friends. And if every time I get the chance, I will shoot your ass down. But you're in a bomber, and I understand that. But if you're in a fighter, right, you should understand 
your job is to fight people, hence the name fighter. And uh, when you run around like you don't have teeth or <laughs> you're the biggest pussy on the planet, what's the point of even playing at that point? You're just literally playing to ruin other people's experiences. And I'm sure everybody who sat through this entire match was pretty pissed off that they got the loss. So the way the game works uh, is there's three caps on this map, Hokkaido, and the Brits start with the caps. If the enemies bomb some bases and throughout the match, um, the allied force, the allied team, I guess they're both allies, right? So the American team uh, will move in and capture some of those points, which means inevitably if the Americans run long enough on Hokkaido, the British will lose unless they ground pound. Whoa, well, slick, just ground pound. That's a simple simple uh, response. I'm in a Spitfire, uh, Seafire FR-47. I'm in a fighter. This is not a plane designed to carry rockets, bombs, and we didn't have any left. So I think there needs to be a system, and this is my idea, right? So this is my idea on a system, and I want you guys to give me feedback on my idea. And again, make your own um, ideas, tweak it, let me know what you think, blah, 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 bounce it off each other. I want to read all these comments and see some progress. You know, let's make some progress. Um, but my idea is either at AI planes that if somebody hasn't been in action in a while or somebody's the last guy left and the algorithm knows, the game knows a do somebody's doing this, right? Or if somebody gets reported for passive behavior when they're the last one left and they haven't, their score hasn't gone up and they're not fighting planes, have AI super planes, not super planes, but AI planes come mess them up. Maybe AI planes of a BR higher. Now this way, if the person who's running actually is a decent pilot, I'm sure some of them are, they can kill these AI planes and actually get some score and get some stuff done. And if they are bad pilots, like their running indicates, they will get smoked by these AI planes and we will get the match. The, the people with the more planes, the people who are actively trying to seek you know, fights and doing stuff in the mission will get the win. I think that's probably the easiest way to go about things, and I don't know if it's a flawless system. I mean, nothing's really a flawless system. I Again, it would require testing and stuff, but I think that's one of the best ideas that I've heard, um, something like that, and that's not just my idea. I don't want to take credit for that. I've talked to people about this in the past, like long ago. I mean, Two years ago, we were talking about the same thing, and we've always talked about AI planes. When I say we, I say me, my friends. I'm pretty sure I've talked to Oxy about this, me and Croc. I think a an AI plane that would come and really put the hurt in on somebody who's running would be great. Um, other than AI planes doing that, I think that the ticket bleed maybe should stop if somebody's going to run like that. Or... Give them engine failure. I don't, I don't know. Give them a fucking, give them engine failure, guys. Listen, if a dude wants to play passive like that, guys, give him a fucking engine failure and let him just fall out of the goddamn sky and crash into the fucking ground and become a goddamn meatball. No, so, you know, it's crazy. I just think this is crazy. I think it's a crazy thing that we have to talk about this, that I wanted to even talk about this because I wanted to do a video on this sea fire and I end up wasting all the time I had. I had about a 45 minute window today uh, to record for the Seafire and that got eaten up pretty fast when you sit in queue for three minutes and then you get into a game and you spend 23 minutes chasing this jack wagon around the map. So uh, yeah, I was very unpleased. I'm over it now. I will get over it. But I think that's why ARB is really dying. I think people have the freedom to play like this. And I think it's a huge issue. It stems from the fact that everybody starts on an airfield. I think that's a dated idea. I like the idea. I like the idea of starting on an airfield if you're playing RB during conflict. Maybe. Perhaps. Awesome. Yeah, I like that idea. But if we're playing Air RB, I think that everybody should get an air spawn. I think we should spawn like... Normandy, not Norway, no, Norway with a part, right? So the same distance that the planes spawn apart in Norway would be a proper distance. You can climb pretty fast uh, and decently well in that. So what if all the maps just became air spawn maps like that? And air, uh, RB Enduring Conflict, which was a game mode as a tour event, what if that became a permanent game mode and people could play the bombers and they could run all they want in, in you know, RB and during conflict because it's EC. You know, there's it's huge. There, not one person running the entire match is going to win in the game. There are so many tickets on the line, so many tickets being moved in and during conflict. Such a big map that 
I don't think the people who want to fly around and act like War Thunder is just a just a fly around type thing, they can do that there, you know, and it's not going to affect the play of other people. Now, in ARB, it really, really does affect the play of other people. So I think that if RB Enduring Conflict was brought back, everybody got an air spawn in ARB now, and maybe limit some of the heavy bombers. I mean, it's a crazy idea, I know, I, and you might like some of the ideas I said and some you might not. That's fine. You can pick and choose and let me know in the comments again. But I think that that would probably make me want to play Air RB way more. Is if it was fighters and fighter bombers only. They Everybody got an air, uh, air start. All the maps rotated. And then if I wanted to play a bomber or if I wanted to go hunt bombers or if I wanted to go fly around and look at the sky and love the pixelated clouds, I could do that on RB and during conflict. So... Or during confrontation, I guess. I think that's what it's called. So, I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments. I probably said that like 35 times. I know. I'm a little tired. I've been out in the cold all day. My nose is running, but I had to get this video done. Had to talk about it. I'm off to the gym. Got to get those gains. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace, peace. I was a terror since the public school era. Bathroom passes, cutting classes, squeezing asses. Smoking blunts was a daily routine since 13. A chubby nigga on the scene. I used to have the tray deuce and the deuce deuce in my bubble goose. Now I got the Mac in my knapsack, lounging black. Smoking sacks up and axing sidekicks with my sidekicks, rocking fly kicks.